What's up YouTube? Jeff from The Style OG. And today's video is all about how to avoid that friend zone. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like James Cooper, salute. So what exactly is the friend zone? It's when you're romantically or physically attracted to someone, but the feeling isn't mutual. However, y'all still are friends. You hang out, talk all the time, all the things that platonic friends do. Now, this can be a degrading, humiliating, frustrating, and ultimately hopeless place to be. I don't want you there. So today, not only gonna talk to you about how you avoid it, but how you even got there in the first place. So let's go ahead and break it down. Now, there's several ways how you wind up in the friend zone. The first one being, you're the prototypical best friend. You're always there for it. You're the shoulder to lean on. You watch a date all these sorry jerks break up and you listen to her complain and moan about it. Then you sit around thinking, eventually she'll see how great I am and it'll be my turn. Let me tell you the truth, my man. Man to man, your turn isn't coming. Now the second reason you may be in the friend zone may hurt a little bit, but hey, you come to your OG for the truth. The point is she may have never been and continues to not be physically attracted to you. That it doesn't mean she doesn't recognize good qualities in you. This is how you became friends. But she's just not feeling you that way. Now, a third way you may have wound up in the friend zone is that you put her on a pedestal. You've convinced yourself she's just too good for you. Therefore, you never even shot your shot and you remain a friend. Another reason you may find yourself in the friend zone is that there's no sexual chemistry. Now, it doesn't mean you're not attractive or she's not attractive. But two people can find each other attractive, but there's no sparks. So if there's no sexual chemistry or no connection, you'll remain friends. Now, final reason you may find yourself in the friend zone is that when you first met her, you spent too much time trying to get to know her well. Now, this is what I mean by this. When you first meet a young lady you're interested in, it's supposed to be playful, flirty, bantering back and forth. If you're on the phone with her late at night, listening to all her old relationship problems, how this problem's going on at work, you're becoming a friend. You're becoming a sounding board. There's no connection there. There's a platonic relationship developing. So now that we know how you may have wound up in the friend zone, I'm gonna give you several tips on how to never get there in the first place. The first one is be her friend, but don't be her friend. This is what I mean by this. When you talk to her, don't be that sounding board I was talking about. Steer the conversation away from complaints, problems, old boyfriends, things from the past. Instead, talk about things she likes to do. What is she doing this weekend? What movies does she like? Any events she's looking forward to? Steer her towards date conversations that put her in the frame of mind of dating you. Now, second way to avoid that friend zone, don't be so available. Don't always be there when she needs somebody to talk to. That's what her best friend is for. Have other interests. If she's interested in you, she'll make herself available to you. Being there all the time when she needs you enables her to take you for granted and look at you as a friend. Now, another good way to avoid the friend zone is to mention other women you're interested in, or better yet, they may be interested in you. Just drop hints about that around her from time to time. Observe and gauge her reaction. If she's romantically interested in you, it'll cause an effect. If she's not, she'll be cool about it. It means she's cool being your friend. Another way to avoid that friend zone, when you're around her, be playful, lighthearted, and joke around with her. Be even slightly suggestive. If you're flirtatious and playful when you're around her, she can't confuse that you're just being her friend. If you keep it lighthearted and even a little bit touchy-feely, she'll know you're trying to get to know her that way. Now the next way to avoid that friend zone builds on the joking, playing around, and being flirtatious. Keep that up. The reason why you want to do that anytime you're around her, it builds up sexual tension if there ever is going to be any. Flirt, be touchy-feely. Like I said, don't grope on her. But gauge her reaction. If she seems to be into the playfulness, the joking around, and the suggestive talk, then she's interested in being more than just friends. Now, the next thing I want you to do to avoid that friend zone, take an honest assessment of yourself. Are you grooming yourself correctly? Are you dressing well when you're around her? You might be able to elicit some physical attraction if you put your best foot forward. So make sure you're watching the style OG and using my tips. Now, last but not least, the most important way to stay out of the friend zone be direct. Be straight about your level of interest in her. 
Ambiguity is the way you wind up with the friend zone more than likely. It's not her job to figure out if you like her. You're the man. She's the prey. You're the predator. Let her know straight up. You're feeling her that way. You're not trying to be her friend. Now finally, I want to leave you with a caveat. I want you to know it's actually cool being friends with a young lady. However, if you're really feeling her romantically, it's an easy way to set yourself up for heartbreak and being hurt. And I don't want that to happen to you. So if you're really feeling someone and she just wants to be your friend, nine times out of 10, just move on. It's not worth the heartache. Okay, so now you know how to avoid that dreaded friend zone. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever found yourself in the friend zone and if you were able to get out. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel grow. And make sure you subscribe. I'm here every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'll meet you here.